Okay, this is one on my heater I use for heating the boat. It's an Adriatic. Um, I forgot what year it was. <laughs> um, 1980 is when it was got. It's an Adriatic. I forgot him now. He makes the darn thing. It's um, really a great stove. I love it. In here when it's 10, I've been in here like when it was 10 below, and uh, of course I woke up around 2 o'clock and it was like 85, 90 degrees. And I'll, later I'll show my other stove. I let my other one, because I thought it was too hot, turn this one off. And then woke up 4 o'clock and it was 100 degrees, so I shut them both off. But that's going to the top, how I've uh, gone through the deck. And I just got this stainless, thin stainless, you get scrap place. I have a bunch of stuff like that. And just bent the edges over. You can see the edges. And of course, I didn't have enough for one whole piece, so I had to add to it. And go down, let the air go behind it. I'm going to eventually, my cushion here is I'm going to put a little uh, wall thing up right here on it and stuff. And uh, I don't know if I can see inside the thing or not. I mean, it's, I should get the hair. Let me get the flashlight. I've been using this for. <laughs> Not much on doing these perfectly, but you can see inside how clean it is it has that concrete it's just like new in there and then the bottom of it i've made a i made a deal in there it's different than other ones i added that long rod to help bring the heat up into it and stuff but it's uh trying to figure that out anyway it's got a crack in that concrete but it's a great stove i we'll love it it's uh anyway oh here's a thing i should do sometime pictures oops this is my uh, prawn trap puller I made. I got a deal out in the boat sometime when it's on there. I'll stick it on there. It's uh, This is, I think, was off of a helicopter. It's a 50 to 1 gear reduction. I've had this thing for, for years. Paid $55 for it years ago. That's a permanent magnet motor, which is a fabulous. I mean, that's the only kind of motors to use. I don't know if it tells how many horsepower, whatever. But it's um, this here, the, the drum, this part was a off of a one of those you roll your hoses up in the yard and thing and I just took the hose thing out of the middle and I screwed it together and then I, I had to go to a, a friend a machinist and he machined the bushing to make everything fit and then he machined down I got some big round things of uh, nylon and he machined down this so the groove for the fits in there and it did back I just take it out slide it in there got two wires of wing nuts to put on Oh, on the top part right there, the um, well, it's underneath there. Anyway, there's the the rod that goes out over the boat, and then there's the, if you can see in there the end of the roller on it. Anyway, just oh, and then it goes through. I've got to sometime I'll show. Uh, I come up through the floor right there with my fuel line. I've got it covered so you can't hit it and break it or something. Um, I have to write down. I've got I think I've got anyway a fuel tank underneath. Underneath my V-berth, on one side is a 20-gallon stainless fuel tank. The other side, I made a, um, a fiberglass one. I mean, these tanks, I have to sometimes show the picture, was unbelievable. Well, he, the guy that built the boat, you can see the bottom of my one. Barely, it's getting dark in there. Of the fiberglass one I built. The stainless ones are beautiful. They're round like this thing. And all, you know, well, that, but... Uh, they didn't use stainless baffle in it. He used one of them for a water tank and the other one for a uh, for um, water and one for fuel. And of course, the one with water, the baffling inside rusted all up. So now I don't want to use it as water and I don't want to use it as fuel. So I scrapped it and I had to, to make me my own. So anyway, just another little video of that. So. Okay, bye.